Hi again everyone, this is Ron Yaw, Secure Message Macro Development Team. I'd like to take a few minutes and step you through the functions and capabilities of this marvelous macro. Secure Message Macro takes information from Relay Health and puts it automatically into Alta for you via Telecon. It also supports creating encounters for regular Telecons as well. To set this macro up, the first thing you have to do is have a new Telecon open in Alta and have access to the Secure Message text you're looking to transfer. I already have Alta open up to a test patient and Relay Health open to the demo site. I've also already highlighted a completed cycle of communication here and ready to fire off the macro. First thing you'll see is a pop-up with 28 common diagnoses and symptoms for you to choose from. You'll notice I'm using the nurse role for this demo and also selected web visit for the type of TCON we'll be entering. To run the macro, I simply select an appropriate diagnosis or symptom or even a combination. By holding down the control key, I can even multi-select these buttons. In this demo, I'll be using allergic rhinitis, and request for med refill. At this point, the macro takes over. In the Telcon quick entry screen, it documents several things for you in the disposition, and more specifically enters a proper ENM code, in this case the 99499 for a nurse. It's also already added in the allergy and medication refill IC9 codes as well. With the symptoms in place, as well as the ENM code, now it's time to add in the procedure code. Because I chose the nurse role and selected a web visit, I need to add a 98969 CPT code for the online web visit. So at this point, the macro is going to take you into the AP section and move you over to the procedure tab. And here you see the 98969 procedure code being added in. With a diagnosis, ENM, and procedure in place now, the final thing to do is add in the bulk of the Relay Health information in place into the Add Note section. So now you see a new add note being opened up with the secure message text being pasted inside. The transfer is now complete. You can now go back into Alta to add some additional comments into the note field. Here I'll use Agitype to follow up on some allergy related comments. With this done, the macro is finished and ready for signature. Let's take a look at this complete encounter. We have an SO section an AP section with both the selected symptom and appropriate CPT code, as well as an add note containing the entire message thread from Relay Health. This whole macro takes about 40 seconds, give or take your Alta speed. With the entire Alta encounter complete, I'd like to show you some additional features of this amazing macro. First, while the secure message macro is designed primarily as a vehicle to transfer information from Relay Health to Alta, the secure message macro actually also allows you to create a complete encounter for any type of TCON. Simply choose the TCON type, set the phone duration, and hit go. The macro will select the correct combination of CPT and ENM codes for you for every TCON every time. The only difference you'll see in these other choices is that the macro will not need to reach out to Really Health, and therefore no ad note will be created. Additionally, the Secure Message macro comes with a complete online help guide. By pressing the Show Help button, you'll access this online tutorial. Inside this document, you'll find everything you need to set up, run, and customize the secure message macro, as well as troubleshoot anything that could occur. This online tutorial will carry you through every step of the way. The Show Help button also brings up a PASBA coding advice page, offering tips for you on how your clinic can maximize their TCON RVUs. You'll also find a Post Ideas button here, allowing you to share your feedback and ideas for improving the macro of the secure message macro development team. In addition to the help guide, the Secure Message Macro also comes with a demo video. You're watching that now. You also have the ability to customize your own diagnosis buttons within the Secure Message Macro. If I were to select Change Diagnosis Codes, a text file would show up. Here I can change the labels or respective ICD-9 codes for any of these buttons. Or I could come down and remove several buttons, select Save, and by hitting Reload Buttons, I've now updated my button dashboard. This is perfect for customizing the secure message macro for the needs of your own clinic. The clinic info button will bring up some other ways to personalize the secure message macro. Here you can set nurse refill protocols, set up weight-based order protocols, as well as numerous other default settings like the role, type of econ, or even computer environment. Changes saved here will come up automatically every time. Finally, I'd like to show you the Prep for Transfer button. This powerful feature will actually go into a completed TCON and swap out existing nurse TCON codes for providers, should the TCON need to be transferred. 
This critical step is far too often overlooked in clinics, often resulting in providers trying to sign out a completed TCON with a nurse code still assigned. However, here, the secure message macro takes care of this for you automatically. Well, that's the demo. I hope you're as excited about the secure message macro as we are. If you have any feedback or suggestions for how to improve this wonderful tool, we'd love to hear from you. Thank you for your time.